Welcome back to the channel. I hope we're all doing well. Are you doing well, Sock? Are you doing well? <laughs> She's been chilling with me today. But this is not a video about Miss Sock. Today is a much overdue and much needed makeup declutter video. I know how you guys like these videos. <laughs> Honestly guys, I don't know what the bricks happened. It feels like I've not been buying makeup, but I've just seemed to be accumulating it. So we're gonna go through my makeup collection. You guys have seen it before. You guys have seen these videos before. You know what's going on. But yeah, we're gonna jump on into it and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah, let's go. So here is the collection. <laughs> Um, I will try and link these things. Don't jump up. I will try and link these down below. I've had them for going on at like a few years now. Sorry, my cat wants to jump up. She's <laughs> no, you can't jump up, I'm afraid. Sorry. I know, it's not fair. No, don't jump. But the thing is, she has her claws are mighty. She's determined to sit on me. Clearly. Okay, go sit, go explore. Yeah, what was it? let's go on to what you're all here to see. The collection. So I'm sure you guys know how these videos work and if you've watched my channel before, you'll definitely know. So we just kind of go through each drawer, suss out what we haven't been using. How I like to decide on what stays and what goes is ask myself, have I been drawn to this product? Have I been wearing this product? And if the answer is no, I'm like, why haven't I worn this? Will I wear this again? And if it's still no, no, then I get rid of it. And I don't think about, Big thing to do is not think about it too much either. If you start thinking about it, like, oh, but I could wear it. No, don't do that. Once those thoughts start coming in, it gets a lot harder to do. Okay, first drawer. So here is my eyes. I kind of like organize. I do my makeup, so I tend to do my eyes first. Obviously, there's some lipsticks in here. There's freaking nail clippers in here, but we're gonna organize that today. I guess we might as well just start off with this Tarte lipstick that my boyfriend got me like a few months into us dating. I am so sad because I don't actually wear this color very much. But it's a really pretty color. I don't wear it and I don't think it's really, oh, is it my color? Mm, intrusive thoughts, intrusive thoughts coming in this is a great start to the video but i'm gonna put this in my makeup bag and i'm gonna make a real effort to wear this so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep for now this is a soft matte lip cream in can i actually think this might be drying out oh no she's still got tons in her i really like this color i like this brand i like this formula it's really stinking nice so i'm gonna keep this one as well okay this is a mascara this is one of my favorite ones it's the maybelline total temptation as you can tell she's been well loved she's actually quite dry now so i'm gonna part ways just because it's really dry honestly honestly i think the rest of this stuff i'm gonna keep i really like this is a concealer but i really like having my single eyeshadows my little um duos like this is easel use these all the time like this is new hourglass pop thing it's in smoke i just love all these and then this is a little mini hourglass mascara that my friend who works for hourglass gave me this is the only mascara i will be keeping because it's actually quite nice i was quite worried about this wand if i'm honest focus camera that would be grand you see it's kind of like spiky i typically don't like spiky spiky wands but the formula is really nice so far we're only getting rid of a crusty old mascara but you know what that's okay we'll get there honestly guys we'll get there next draw is you getting some more eyeshadows i've got some lip stuff in here these can go i can tell you that i mean look at that do you see that it's separated see that separated i don't wear nail polish ever so i'm just gonna get rid of that i'm also gonna get rid of these these are some more hourglass lip pencils they're just not my shade again they were gifted to me i'm also going to get rid of this glossier boy brow because i haven't used this it's probably dried up as well i kind of want to get rid of this as well i've had a good use out of this and it's the maybelline superstay ink crayon but it's a red shade like a dark red brick color i got it a few years ago i've had a good go with it but is a bit difficult um so i'm gonna get rid of that and then the rest i'm gonna keep again i like having eyeshadow palettes so much each of them give something different 
And then I've got some lipsticks that I really like as well. Aren't gonna go away. These are like really easy to just apply. This is almost finished. Like that's it all the way up. So I'm just gonna continue using this until it is done. And that's it for that draw. Okay, next one is the right draw for that concealer. And it's for face. Now I know there's a few things in here that I can get rid of. So starting off with the things I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade 0.5N. I'm also keeping this Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. So pretty. Another one and I'm going to keep is this concealer, beautiful concealer, again from Hourglass in the shade Birch and I think it's their Vanish concealer. Keeping my stick foundation from Revolution, beautiful, beautiful product, easy again. I've got to keep this, this is the Eye Bright concealer, she's almost finished. I won't repurchase this because I think I just prefer something different in my concealers but it's a good concealer. This is done, it's the Conceal and Define concealer by Revolution, she is finished. This is also pretty much finished I think. Yeah, I'm gonna say she's pretty much fit. Um, this is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Raging Under Eye Concealer. And now, now for the products that I don't really like. So this is another gift and it's their Vanish, it's the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. This, mm, don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I just, don't like it on my skin, I think. I don't know whether it's the products I use underneath or my base or the way I'm applying it with a brush. So it just doesn't work well on my skin. The next one I accidentally repurchased and I didn't like it before and I tried to make it work again for me. I was like, okay, I bought it. I might as well give it another chance. Still rubbish, still don't like it. And then this is the professional. I'm just gonna bin it. Never, I don't use primer, so there's no point in keeping it. And then this is a little concealer again from Hourglass. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it because it was a really nice concealer when I, I tried it out a few times. Um, And so yeah. That is all my foundations. I feel so much better that it's this clear. So much better. So I'm really happy with this. Next one is my blush straw, which I'm honestly looking at now. <laughs> I don't see anything I want to get rid of. I really don't, but I just can't. Like I love them all so much. Are there any that are similar? That's a thing we can have a look at. See, I'm trying. See, I am trying, but I just don't see any that's particularly similar. No, see like this is more peachy, this is more pinky. So the thing is, when I first, when I did my first video, which I will link in the cards above, I had so much that I knew I could get rid of, but now I'm at a stage where I just generally like everything in my collection. It's difficult. Okay, last one. Already see a few things. Lip balm, she's finished, <laughs> so we can get rid of her. This bronzer, I'm gonna just get rid of. I haven't used in a while. It's very opaque, which is great. I find it sometimes a bit much with my skin. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's just get rid of this blotting powder by MAC. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I've not been drawn to it since I repurchased my Studio Fix. This has just been great. Should we just go ahead and get rid of this? No, I wanna have at least another setting powder. Now it's just these, and I like them all again. Um, and that's it, I think. I can't do any better, guys. Yeah, so this is all that I'm getting rid of, which to be fair, I'm not that unhappy about. So yeah, so the reason why I'm happy with just this amount of product, because obviously you have these videos online that are like decluttering my makeup video and there's like a thousand products that this person's decluttering. But how am I meant to declutter that much of my collection? It's literally a few drawers and they're not even full drawers. Like there's a room to play about with if I wanted to. So yeah, I'm really happy with the amount. I'm really happy, honestly, with my ability to kind of not get attached too much to certain things. Um, I mean, yes, am I getting attached to this lipstick I haven't worn because it's possibly the first makeup product uh, my boyfriend gave me? Possibly, maybe that is in there. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with the makeup that I have. So yeah, that's my makeup collection. And the declutter, the little teeny thing that it is. The fact that there's only a little bit to declutter means that I use everything else, which is great. Pat myself on the back. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another declutter in the bag. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.